Among all the new faces on this year's Royals roster is 24-year-old Mike Pereira. A native of Connecticut, the 5'11 forward chose the college route, spending his four years at UMass Amherst. You know, they wanted me to sign my national letter of intent and um, ended up having a good freshman year. So, you know, they were one of those things where, why would we make you go play juniors? You had such a good year, but, you know, knock on wood, as you know, got into a good situation and play with an old Reading uh, Royal TJ signer there to kind of show me the ropes. So, um, you know, there was a, a lot of good turnout there. Prera didn't have to wait long before entering the pros after his college days on the ice were over. A surprising phone call just before spring break resulted in the forward being thrown into the mix with the Worcester Sharks. I ended up getting a phone call at like 10 a.m. on Saturday from uh, my agent and uh, coach Dave Cuniff out in Worcester. He, uh, they were like, yeah, you got to make it to Worcester here by, by noon. Uh, we have a game in Bridgeport at 7, and I'm thinking to myself, I can't even, I don't even think I can get there in time, but it's one of those things where you just kind of wing it, and you don't really think about what, you know, the moment that you're in, you're playing in your first pro game, and so it was, it was fun to be a part of. After signing a two-way AHL contract with Bridgeport and Stockton, Pereira's rookie season was plagued by injuries, eventually ending up with Redding thanks to a little help from his friends. Over the summer, I had another surgery, and ended up calling Larry and you know we had talked a bit he had a uh, he had a few of my friends with uh, Pat Moline and Mike Marcou who you know were kind of pumping my tires a bit and uh, you know he seemed like a really knowledgeable and, and caring guy so I, I felt like I was in good hands with Larry and ended up making a deal and coming here. We knew he had some upside uh, I know I coached some of his, his best friends with uh, you know Mike Marcou and Pat Moline that played for us last year um, and they, they highly recommended him. And based on that and the, and the input from my government coaching staff, obviously I went out and recruited him. The second year pro generated three goals in two games to start the preseason. Now he sits at second on the roster with 11 goals and 10 assists in 21 games. He's well liked. He skates extremely well. He's gifted, uh, you know, he's got gifted hands. Uh, but it's probably his biggest asset that gives him, a, you know, allows him opportunities to score and get in the play is his speed, is his skating. And, uh, which is uh, probably a lead at our level and maybe even a lead at the American level. I know, uh, you know, Joe Graycamp was just called up to Lehigh and we compare them both uh, as probably one of the best skaters in our league. You don't see him on the Phantoms roster soon. You might see the communication major as a reporter here on TV2. It's one of those things where like I've done kind of, I've, I've seen what, you know, what that chair looks like a bit where not so much interviewing, but uh, the behind the scenes look. Um, I, I kind of like that. My writing is good, but I don't know if uh, my daily, you know, interactions uh, would allow that to be, you know, very good, I guess. In Reading, I'm Gwen Begley for Two Sports.